Hey guys, it's Slipcover Steve. I, like you, have been very curious about this Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th Anniversary Limited Edition. The, the consensus online is it's too expensive. No one's going to want it. There's a second site, foreign release. And honestly, all of that is a bunch of pure and utter nonsense. This is a release people want. This is the definitive Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K boutique release. I own it. I'm happy. I spent $300 plus tax and it was worth every penny. You get with it a tiny chainsaw, you get a little VHS tape, you get a copy of the movie on 4K, and all of that is housed in a beautiful box. And thank God for that beautiful box. Because everything else inside, you just don't have any reason to care about. Because really, let's not talk about it in terms of, is it a cool set internally? Do I want the things inside? What you need to do is go, that's 5,000 copies at $300. It's limited. They're not going to reprint it. They're not going to pull, you know, a Severin and, and magically print more. When it's gone, it's gone. So you think about it, there's about 20 billion people on this whole planet. And... Every single person on the world is just looking towards the United States. Okay? Do you see this, what I'm saying? It's an American-made limited edition product. People from other countries import what we do because we do it so well. It's not the other way around, you know? Here in the United States, we're not importing crap from China. We're not importing crap from, like you know, Europe or Africa. We like American-made products because we know it's an A-plus quality. We know it's the best. And everyone else in the world agrees. Do you think Mexico wants some kind of Mexican-made, you know, tablet? No. They're looking and going, I want to get that American-made tablet. Do you see what I'm saying? I know, there's a second site, foreign, fancy boutique release. But there's also a ton of them out there, and they keep reprinting it. Because people are chumps. And the movie's also, like, public domain, so anyone can do whatever they want with it. But, this is the real deal. This is as close as you're gonna get to a real official release. It's not just some kind of foreign bootleg, you know... The last release we had in the U.S. was just a ho-hum, whatever release. It had a steel book and it had a slip cover. And slip cover was fine. There was no problem with the slip. But now, now we've got the real deal. And you're saying, Steve, how is it? What's different? What's new on the disc? What's that VHS tape like? What's the chainsaw like? Have you been cutting down lumber with it? And these are all really stupid questions. I'm not going to open that. It's going to sit right on the shelf. Because it's what it's supposed to do. There's only 5,000 of these out there. And with 20 billion people, you think that it's going to stay on the shelf for more than a couple days? It's probably sold out now. You're watching this video. You've been waiting too long. You kept saying... I'll wait for it to go on sale. It'll be like a hundred bucks in like a month, you know, with Black Friday and stuff right around the corner. You are a fool. Maybe even an idiot. You just passed up on a money-making opportunity because you could add three more zeros to that price tag and that's what it's going to be worth. Yes, I would not be shocked if it's worth 300k. That is just how limited how sick, how desirable this is going to be. You do not understand. That tiny chainsaw is never going to be replicated. 
and you're never going to get an opportunity to hold the box that holds that chainsaw. And I really, really feel bad for you. In fact, I even pity you. I wish you could be half as smart as me and took advantage of it. I really mean that. You're probably the same clown that dragged their feet on, you know, the, what is it, never-ending, like, story-like set. Yeah, it's a foreign release. But I heard that people wanted it. So, of course, I bought it. It was $200. That's a drop in the bucket. $300 is a drop in the bucket. Have you went to a grocery store? Chances are you filled your cart with a bunch of dumb food for probably like $600, $700, $800. And that's just one shopping trip for one week. Is it really going to kill you to get this 4K set? I hope after watching this, you wake up and you start respecting yourself. And you learn how to make the right investment moves. Because getting this set is a no-brainer. And it gets my seal of approval. So comment down below. Did you buy this set? Or are you a chump? Let me know your thoughts on it. And while you're at it, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe. And until next time, keep slipping.